and welcome back to the channel. On this video, we're going to go for a ride from King City Park to Cook Park, and I've got my friend Keith for the first time debuting on the channel. How are you doing, Keith? Pretty good. Kind of excited. <laughs> so Keith is a motorcycle guy and traditional bike guy, but has never ridden an e-bike. So he's going to get on my aerial rider grizzly today and take it for a spin and let us know what he thinks of the bike so uh well i guess first tell me how to start it up and okay get this thing ready to go so first of all we got i uh, run both batteries on the uh grizzly okay so at right the same there. time so we just turn both batteries on there and there all right cool we've got our power switch up here so we just hold that down right for a couple of seconds. You'll see it light up on the screen. Then you let it go, and then there you go. Nice. A little dusty, but... Okay. Um, then here we've got our switch for kill switch. Okay. So in case you're at an intersection or a stop sign or whichever, and you don't accidentally hit that and uh, start taking off on you unexpectedly, so uh, when you're ready to throttle, you just push that button in. If you want to just pedal only, you turn that off. Okay. And what else is there to show you? So right? you were telling me earlier, this is how you select the motor. Oh, yeah. This is the, the motor. rear motor. Okay. So that's the rear motor. The other side is front only. And then dual motor is in the middle. Okay. And I recommend rear motor at least to start because you're going to have a front end spin out if you don't. Sounds like And fun. then once, yeah, once you get going, you can either hit both or just stay on one. Okay. I like using that for hill climbing. Okay. But uh, you'll get the feel of it pretty quick. You got a bell? Nice bell right there. And of course and, the brakes, uh, just hydraulic brakes. Just regular hydraulic brakes. like a regular brakes, bike, yeah. I guess. All right, cool. All right. You got the helmet color that suits, it matches it. <laughs> yeah. And I'm gonna, sale? what's that? Is the bike for sale? Maybe. Maybe. Stay huh? tuned, <laughs> it may be. Just gotta convince the wife. <laughs> exactly, there you go. <laughs> and I'm gonna be riding the Lyric Graffiti right there. And so away we go. We're heading from King City Park down to Cook Park. All right. So if you're familiar with this area, you'll know what we're talking about. So let me uh, turn mine on, I guess. I'm not going to go anywhere. This seat is hot from being in the yeah. sun. Black isn't, uh, it attracts the ago, heat. The weather was perfect. Now it's getting a little warm. All right, so away we go, heading to Cook Park. Well, first impressions, the bike is, it feels really nice. The seat height is really nice. Oh, yeah, what what is your height? You're about what, 5'11", uh, 6 feet? Yeah, 5'11". Can you see? Come to me, my, my feet are on the ground flat. Pedals are a little high, but I guess this bike's just... You know, yeah, I think, I think if you uh, had a little longer seat... Okay. Um, you would probably be able to sit back more. That might help you there. But for me, with the new tires I put on the E-Huntsman's now, I, uh, I'm only on my toes. I can't even have uh, flat feet, whereas this bike here, flat-footed okay. for me. So this is going to be a little small for you if you were on this one. All right, so away we go. Okay, so we're going to go off. Which way we go? We'll have to get off on the, on the right there. Okay, and then we'll come back, come back, back up. Okay. And we'll come back up this road. All right, here we go. Oh, there it goes. So don't throttle it too much, right? Well, you'll just you'll get the feel of it once you get once you get going. This is his first ever ride on an e-bike. Like I say, he's motorcycle guy and traditional bike, but he's never ridden an e-bike, so I'll be curious to get his impressions uh, when we get to Cook Park on the bike. You don't have to go back up that way. You can just go around and straight out like we don't have to go up there we can just go on the road okay, we'll go back this way okay. so where that pickup truck is there you can turn right there looks like he's uh definitely familiar with bikes Yeah, you can turn there. It's a perfect day today. 
straight. Yeah, they, they both can go pretty good. So we're gonna we're gonna turn right here. So far it's a lot of fun. Oh jeez. Yeah, you gotta be ready for it. Yeah, if you've got both motors on, you gotta definitely that's why at the intersection you might want to actually turn it off to start. Okay. Because you'll spin out with the front. Yeah. Because there's no weight there. So okay. you're sitting on the back so it doesn't if you lift up on the back, it's the same thing, you'll spin. Okay, which way should we go? So we're gonna go here. Okay. Straight and then when you get to the stop sign, just keep going straight. Pedal to the metal for sure, right? <laughs> yeah. Look, you should break that Tesla right there. Yeah. Did you ever figure what that clicking noise is? Oh. If she was going to go straight, I was going to ask her if she wanted to race. <laughs> Turn left! <laughs> left! <laughs> he didn't hear me. I was trying to yell at you to go left, but up here we'll go left. Oh. The next, next, I know. I was doing a steady 36 coming back to catch up to you. I think this thing was 34 and a half. Yeah, it sounds about right. With those tires there, it's, it lost about a, a mile or two per hour. You're going to get around 35, yeah. Okay. Before it would get about 36 top, so you're going to get 34 or 35. Okay. We'll have to do a future race. But don't forget, if we lose power on our battery, then you're going to lose a little speed too. Okay. So turn left here. That way we can avoid the main road a bit. Right. That Jeep looks familiar. It does? Yeah, it does. <laughs> going right up to the light. Nice bike, buddy. <laughs> hey, I like your bike. For sale? Might be. It's for sale. 
<laughs> I'll just take it home right here. <laughs> right now. The tires cost more than that. That's a big deal then. Turn here. Right. I said light, but I think we'll turn here. And then you want to turn right at the stop. So that'll this will bring us around to Durham okay. and go straight into the uh, bike lane. Okay. Straight across. Okay, you might have, let's let this car get by real fast. All right. Get over. <laughs> yeah, they're squeaky brakes, aren't they? Yeah, they seem to be working pretty good though. Yeah, that bike is a uh, good height for you. Like for me, it, I like I say, my toes uh, just touch the ground now with those new tires. Okay. This one here, I I'm flat footed. See. Okay. So this height suits me. This is about a 31 inch. That one there is probably 33 and a half, Somewhere maybe now something like that yeah I was gonna tell you you're right about putting this uh, motor just for the rear motor only because it, it just kind of takes yeah, off on let's you go. yeah that's a lot yeah okay now I'm gonna let you go ahead of me go ahead of me What happened? I don't know, I just lost it. Chain came off. Let's uh, see what's going on. I stopped on. your pedal, Mark. That's all right. Accidents happen. What, did it just on the turn, you got it? Yeah, I don't, I'm, I don't know. Damn. Yeah, fuck up my arm. Right? Oh yeah, I'm good. Ah, uh, it's all electric. It'll be good. <laughs> well, here, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I think it, I, it kind of landed on me, so it kind of just. Oh, oh I think you still have that. Oh yeah, turn it off. Is that on or off? Here, just turn it's the battery off. We're still rolling, so. Let me, let me uh, here, just go ahead and. Uh, oh God. Let me stop the thing. Yeah. Hey man, are you okay? <laughs> are you gonna edit that Let's part? Let's zoom out? in on it. No, we gotta show everybody what happened. Wow. So we don't even know what happened. I don't know. You were a little bit too far ahead of me. I just seen you down when I came around the corner. I think I just took the turn too fast. 
uh, you're gonna have a pretty good scrape there. Uh, yeah, going. that's gonna hurt for a couple days. Done it before. <laughs> His first e bike experience, and there goes the cop. <laughs> Motorbike cop. Okay, so your first experience so far has been interesting. Would we say that? Yeah. I'd... Well, let's continue on on our journey okay. to, to uh, Crook Park. Yeah, it seemed pretty good. Like I, a couple of nicks on the bike, but yeah, I put a scratch there and a scratch right here. But uh, your arm got—I think your arm got the worst, <laughs> the worst of it, which is not funny. But I mean, it's that looks like it's gonna—it's gonna hurt for a couple of days. You, you have to put uh, some something on it. Yeah, I just kind of fell down. I think I, I think the front part of the bike fell on me, and then yeah, I just kind of. Uh, right in my arm. I wasn't going very fast. I'm, I'm thinking maybe five to ten miles an hour. I think I just maybe leaned it too far. I don't know. Well, got a little too excited. Maybe you got that out of the way and you won't have any more. You know, one and done kind of thing. Yeah. I had a spill once, but that was uh, coming out of my driveway. Oh, <laughs> coming out of my driveway with the uh, Rad Rover. It was an icy black ice. I didn't even know. Yeah. And I hit the patch and went out, but. There was nobody around at that hour of the morning, so it was fine. That was a few years back. You need to stop at home and... Uh, stop it. Just want to make sure the bike's up there. Alright, go to the park? Yep. Like you can hear like a little like rubbing noise. Yeah, my, that looks a bit loose. That fender might have gotten loose there. Oh yeah, it's loose right here. Yeah, so that's that could be. You could hear a noise from that. Does this, that happen before? This fender. No, it's coming from up here. Yeah, it doesn't look like this one's loose at all. Oh, they just come loose in time though. Do they? And plus, it may have it may have uh, jarred it when you uh, went down. Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> Otherwise, have you noticed anything else that's... Uh... No, no, it seems fine. Seems 
Everything seems to be okay, actually. I saw the brake light coming on, so that works. Yep. Yeah, it just got some scrapes. I got a scrape right here and there. There's a line here, but that might have been here already on the fender here, on that side, because everything went on the other yeah. side and went down. I yeah. think that might have been on there. You get scuffs on there. Um, You're going to ride it, right? Yep, that's all part of it. Okay, let's go to the park. Sometimes when you're more careful, that's when you get more scrapes than when you just are less careful. Right. You know, about things, but. I think I just got a little carried away in the turn. Yeah, you might want to tone it down just a little. <laughs> yeah. You're a little more daring than me off the hop. Left. Left. <laughs> Let's go in where the, uh, you know where they have just inside there on the right hand side? Yeah. For the path? Okay. Well, if there's nobody around there, we'll just stop there. Or do you want to stop over here on the grass? Over here. <clears throat>
Ok First of all, how are you? Well, I know it's a little scrape on this side too. Hang on a second, wait. Oh, I'll get a good spot to park here. Okay. Let's see so your. I got own. a little scrape on this wow, side Wow, you got too. both. You got stereo. <laughs> Look at that. Jeez. Probably want to hurt to wear some like armor or protection. Yeah. Yep. Just even like um. I'm not sure what happened. I'll have to check the video back. But I don't know if I caught it on there. I just saw you already down. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't catch the uh, the actual falling down. I didn't. When I looked, you were already down on the street. Yeah. I, like I said, I was just going around the corner. Like I don't think it was very fast, and just I don't know. I just went down like just like that. It just what they call it, a low slide or low yeah. side crash. Oh. And I can, the bike just kind of—I think I felt the front end kind of hit my foot, and then yeah, you could see on the back of it where it kind of yeah. scraped the ground. So we have a little uh, burn mark there, Took off the scorch, paint. and down here it looks like we got dinged up a bit. I think that's about it, and the pedal I think. Yeah, I the just pedal. Pedal. got it right there. But uh, luckily, everyone and everything's okay other than that and your arm looks yeah it's gonna burn a little bit i've had uh, my knees scraped up from playing street hockey before and i know what that's all about so but anyway what is your uh, other than the act let's leave the accident aside because that was an accident that you know <laughs> so other than that what did you uh think about uh, the bike's awesome lots of power oh, on it too okay. that's another thing like you said um on the motors you definitely want to have it like in only one motor at a time from the stop because I don't know, when you're only going like five miles an hour and then you, you throttle it, it doesn't want to go at first, then all of a sudden it just kind of takes off. You can kind of feel it, you know? Yeah, so, it's, it, it's ready to go. Oh yeah, definitely. So yeah, so do you notice too that when you turn both motors on, uh, when you do put the second one on, how much of a grab it gives yeah, you there? Yeah, it like takes a, about, what, maybe about two or three seconds, then all of a sudden you just kind of feel that power going in. It feels like you're going into overdrive, right? If, yeah, and you can hear the, like the motors kicking in too. You definitely hear something. Yeah, though. and you the front motor is louder. Do you notice that? Than the is rear? that what it is? Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah. Okay. The front motor is definitely louder. But what about comfort and, and the oh. feel of it otherwise? It what did you great. think? Yeah, doing 30 miles an hour, going over those uh, little uh, those grates in the road, you really didn't even feel them. I, I'm guessing those tires, you know, just wide enough where you... I thought it was really smooth. I didn't really feel like it was rough or anything. The seat's really comfortable. I mean, other, yeah, it felt great. The shocks, you know, suspension feels pretty good. I mean, I didn't feel like a vibe, you know, any kind of vibrations, nothing. I, I'm sure on like on my regular, you know, bike, you would feel a lot more bumps. And yeah, so I'm kind of curious on how the other bike is because it's a hardtail, so there's no rear suspension. So I wonder if that makes a difference. Yeah, you might want to be a little more careful going over uh, things. Oh yeah, that's plus the thing. tires on the other biker. Yeah, this thing, Dinner. you're doing 20, 30 miles an hour without even realizing it. Yeah, I know. That, I, that's probably why I went around the, the turn too fast. Now, I, you know, I'm thinking I'm only doing 5 or 10, but I was probably doing about 15. I don't know. So, I wish I was paying attention. I just remember, yeah, we were getting to the turn lane. And I was going slow, just turning. And maybe I just leaned it too far. I don't know. Maybe I was trying to ride it like a motorcycle. I'm not sure. <laughs> but. So, overall, your impressions, you like? The bike? Oh, yeah. 
yeah, and definitely like that. First boat. ride on an e-bike, was this about what you expected it? <laughs> Without the fall? Yeah, other than the fall, were you expecting the bike, is this different than you expected it to be, or? Um, it's hard to say. I mean, it's, it's yeah, it's it's really cool. Like, um, like does anything surprise you? I think the power definitely surprised me a little bit more. I, you know, this is a, a really nice. So it has more? Than what I expected, for than sure. Than you expected? Yeah. Like I said, I rode that scooter, and it definitely, it, it had like a fraction of the power this thing had. It it took off nice and smoothly. It so you did ride a scooter. Was it a kick scooter, or was it a... Well, to get it going, you had to kick it. Okay. But so then once it, was, it got going... So it was a stand-up scooter. Yeah, a stand-up scooter. scooter. Okay. Small tires, and that thing was really rough. You could feel all the bumps Yeah, the I, think the, I think, I've never ridden one of those yet, but uh, I think they're going to have a different... They're going to be different than one of these. Than the yeah, bike. of course, it you know, doesn't have any suspension. But they look like it. a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, those bikes, but so other than your fall, would that deter you from getting deter you from uh, getting on again? Well, no. hopefully the wife doesn't see this video because <laughs> that's gonna be the, the big problem right there. <laughs> I think she's gonna see it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> but well, well, if you can convince her to get one, I would definitely say yes. yes. Yeah, this isn't good for her now. I don't <laughs> yeah. know what's gonna happen. But... You just go slow. You know and what you take though? Time. Here's the way I look at it: accidents happen. Oh yeah. You know, it could have been just as well at me have it go down, you know, as, as Oh I've done this before. I've done way worse. I've done it on my arms and on my all the way down my leg on a um, on a road bike one time. I was doing about thirty miles an hour <laughs> on the sidewalk and I was going around a corner and yep, just there's not much traction like I guess the center of gravity just got off. Yeah, all right really well look he's got a little, bit, a little bit on your hands too let's yeah. see that wow you got a little yeah I did a little damage. you might find things on your legs too and everywhere else i don't feel anything I'm but there's good. no rips on your jeans no. so uh, I, I think most of it went down on my arm right here that's what i'm saying i don't think i was going very fast i no. really don't think i was i, I, right. I don't know well, hopefully I that doesn't stop you from riding an no. e-bike in the future no no hopefully we convince convince the missus that yeah. it was an accident only <laughs> All right, well, thank you for uh, joining me today on the video. All right, Mark. <laughs> Injury and all. Yeah. That added a little flavor, I guess, to the uh, video, but. Uh, well, hopefully I can ride with you now next Sunday, so. Yeah. I'm gonna have to get some all right, well, that's gonna do it for this video. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, <laughs> go ahead and subscribe. I don't know why we're laughing. It was a serious thing, but. <laughs> it wasn't that serious. And if you want to uh, be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit the notification bell. Anybody that and... rides a bike, they're going to they're gonna fall. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. And if you've got a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. <laughs> Once again, thank you for joining me today. Thank you, Keith. And until next time, take care. <laughs>